Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to make detailed contours in Illustrator. Um, it is a really useful tip that I found a lot of people didn't know at university. So here I've got an example of a drawing that I did um, when I was studying and it came in from some OS data originally where the contour lines were set apart every 10 meters and then with a tool on Illustrator I was able to fill in uh, the distances between evenly. It's just a quick tip that saves you a lot of time instead of tracing in between them all. They won't be even. It wouldn't have blended correctly. So I'm going to show you how I did it quickly. So I'm going to select two distances. It could be 10 meters or one meter apart. And then I'll just paste them here. Okay, so that would be the original information that you might obtain from an OS map or Digimap, or you might have traced them from a PDF or what have you. And then the trick is just to select them both, go up to Object, go Blend, Make, and that has given the, it has just split it down the middle, worked out the angles. And then if you go back up to Object, Blend, Blend Options, we have a, a number of different options here, but we're going to go for Steps. And type in 8 steps between. And there you go. It has worked it all out evenly for you. And if you wanted to, you could change that a bit further by maybe having one thicker than the other and then go up there again make it so also it blends the curvature of them evenly and also the line weights like that and it can also work like that for colors so that's what that's the process that I made that I did for these contours here it's just extracting a lot more information out of something that well originally wasn't there this drawing was about the topography of the landscape and I really wanted to exaggerate that over the built infrastructure um, and that's how I did that by exaggerating all these contour lines so it reads much more as a terrain map rather than a, uh, a city map I hope you found that interesting uh, and helpful. I'm going to do loads of quick tips like this on Illustrator just so they are just things that uh, I found out or I wish I knew when I was studying. Illustrator is a really powerful tool for, for vector drawings. I did all my editing of vector drawings on Illustrator. You have so much more control over the output uh, rather than in a CAD software and you can get a lot more creative with them. So I'm going to do loads of these little episodes of just quick tips in Illustrator. So if you're interested in that and general architecture tutorials and representation, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a lot, lot more of them and I really appreciate it. Ask me any questions and I hope you learned something and it speeds up your drawings quickly. Thank you and please subscribe to my channel.